Right, welcome to another episode of Unbox Boarding Unboxing. This is our ninth episode uh, of this series, and that also means it's our ninth box from unboxboredom.com. So, this month we uh, looked at our choices in the email that came on the first of the month, and uh, I will admit that not all the choices really jumped out at us. Um, two of the games were party games, and while that is kind of good, uh, for some people, it's also not great for this time uh, with people not being able to have as big a groups together, I guess. Uh, also, we will be moving in a few months and uh, it may just be harder to get a group of people together to play a game. So there was one game that was not a party game and we decided to choose that game. Even that game didn't really jump out at us as a, uh, like a game that we'd pick up from the shelf if we were in a store or something. Uh, but that doesn't say much because several of the other games we've had sent to us by Unbox Portum have looked like that and we've ended up loving them. So I'm not going to judge it by its cover or its little paragraph for in the email. Uh, I haven't even looked up the ratings on any of the uh, board game rating websites. Uh, but I'm sure that it'll be a good game because Unbox Portum is just not with us down. Uh, except for one time, the Imperial Settlers were rolling right. We have not played that aside from the first time we played it and videoed it, so uh, we'll see. We'll see how this one is. Anyway, let's get into it. Unbox Boredom. It's a website that sends you a subscription based board game every month. You get an email on the first of the month with three options. You either choose the option that you want or you just ignore the email and five days later they choose for you and send it. Uh, 30 bucks a month. I think it's 32 after taxes and stuff. Uh, just very good service. We've not had any issues getting our box on time. We haven't had any issues getting our the choice that we wanted. It's always the thing that we requested. Um, and it's just a really great service. And the link will be in the, the uh, bio below. And I just really recommend everybody check it out. Even if you just do it for mo one month. You can also do it for every quarter, I believe. Uh, and then there might be one other option where you get a, uh, a less frequent board game delivery. But we chose the monthly one because we wanted to expand our board game collection. And this has done that. So this is the ninth game that we've got just from the service. And let's see what's in the box. Yeah. So, Klondike Rush. It's by Red Raven. It looks very nice. The board looks nice, uh, obviously very Alaskan and Northern Canadian uh, for the Klondike area. There's the board. So after uh, after a few minutes, I'm gonna swap the camera to the overhead view and we'll show you what's inside the actual box. But just a quick uh, rundown, this is two to five players, ages 13 and up, and it says it'll take 45 to 60 minutes to play. Uh, it's got a little abominable snowman, figurine and a mine shaft figurine um, yeah it doesn't even have a uh, description on the box of what, what the game is but um, yeah we'll see what's in the box and then we'll go from there okay so here we got our Klondike Rush game uh, I will say again that the artwork looks very good on it uh, it's just very it's a very pretty box, to be honest. And that's always a good sign. So inside we've got our rule book, obviously. We've got some tokens, some pelts, some gems maybe, some moose, fish, abominable snowman, and uh, wild, wild cars. Again, all very nicely designed and uh, drawn. We've got our map which I said in the last segment is just very nice, very pretty to look at, uh, which is which is good, you know? You want a box, or you want a game board that you enjoy looking at. So, yeah, just got the mountains of uh, Alaska and Northern Canada, so. This is the Klondike Gold Rush, which if you're unfamiliar with American and Canadian history, was the gold rush in Alaska and uh, the Northwest portions of Canada. So it's a big part of both those countries 
histories, America and Canada, not Alaska and Canada. But um, yeah, so it looks like you're going to be doing some mining. Looks like you're going to be traversing some seemingly intraversible terrain. So you got like a mountain pass here uh, and then some valleys that you can move through. Uh, just very nice, very nice box or uh, board. I will say the back is blank, but mm -hmm. beggars can't be choosers. In here, we've got our game pieces, multiple colors, obviously. We've got our abominable snowman token, which I will assume is the first player token. These are all mine shafts, so uh, that's definitely going to be a big part of the game. Bags. I love when a board game publisher includes bags for pieces in the box. Uh, we just bought about a hundred multi-sized bags for all of our games because we just cannot stand having loose pieces or even pieces with cutouts. They don't always fit and if you put your box sideways uh, they can get jostled around. We also have kids and they love to get into our board games and just mess with stuff. Uh, so it's really nice having bags. It's just a really nice, easy touch, uh, and it just makes it even more convenient. So we've got some tokens here, or sorry, cards. So these look like resources. This one's pelt, maybe two pelts, uh, worth seven bucks, Canadian or American. We've got some cards here. So that looks like uh, gold, and uh, this one says Clarion Mining Company. So again, just very beautiful artwork on this. Uh, it's very, very, very nice artwork. I will say. What else? We got money, so regional currency. The uh, the Klondike rush happened before Alaska was a state. It was just a territory at the time, um, and I'm not sure the I'm not sure what the I guess Yukon or Northwestern Territories of Canada were compared to provinces at that point. Uh, anyway, money looks non, yeah, definitely not uh, American or Canadian based, but even even this, look at that, look at that little insert. It's just the cover of the box, but what a nice touch. Anyway, this is the contents of Klondike Rush. I'm intrigued. Honestly, uh, reading the blurb on the email from Unbox Portum didn't sell me too much, and the only reason we picked it was because it was a non-party game, and that's what we were looking for at the time. So uh, we, it was kind of a choice without a choice, but I don't know. I, I'm intrigued now, and I look forward to trying this. So in a couple days or a couple weeks, we will put up a high, hyperlapse of this and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, unbox Boredom, I'll say it again, 32 bucks a month if you want a monthly delivery. Uh, the price goes up, I think, if you choose the more infrequent delivery, but you get a board game every month and it's just a great service if you want to expand your, your board game collection. And most of the time it's games you haven't heard of or that are a bit more obscure. So it's a great way to see the kind of hidden gems of the board gaming world. Anyway, thanks for all the love and support on the Instagram channel and the YouTube channel. Uh, sorry we've not been posting as much. We're moving in a few weeks and it's just kind of been a hectic time for us uh, with work and the move, but we're hoping to get everything back up to uh, more frequent postings in the next couple months maybe. Uh, so just bear with us on that. Keep interacting with us, keep commenting and liking and sharing, and we will keep interacting with you guys. And we hope everybody's doing well, and we'll see you next time.